Well, there are a number of reasons why we don't have confidence in her. One is that she has absolutely no experience in this very important area of work. Child abuse is like a, is like a cancer in society. If you're going to tackle something like that, you appoint people who know what they're talking about. You appoint cancer, cancer specialists. She also has very strong links with one of the key witnesses, potentially, to this very inquiry, i.e. Leon Britton, and that in itself would disqualify her as a lawyer from conducting such an inquiry. Downing Street and the Home Office are the only people that I've encountered who do have any confidence in her or in this panel indeed, and the meeting that we're having today is very important, and that this meeting that we're having later on we should have had prior to any appointment, and then they would have been able to ask the people who are at the heart of this inquiry, the survivors themselves, who they think might be a, an appropriate person. But Fiona Rolfe and Elizabeth Butler Sloss were entirely inappropriate appointments, so the government have got egg on their face over this, I'm afraid. I don't know for sure who should lead the inquiry, but I think somebody with a good human rights or criminal investigation record, if it's, if it's going to be a lawyer, somebody like Helena Kennedy, somebody like Michael Mansfield, somebody with huge credibility in this area of work, not corporate governance.